Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Guys, I wanted to point you in this direction here. Uh, this is a tweet from Sparrow, uh, at Sparrow Hodel. I was pointed in this direction by XRP underscore Canada. Thanks so much again, my man, for the link. And it's talking about another possible Ripple Swift connection. Uh, in very similar terminology, the links between Ripple and Swift just keep cropping up. It could be a coincidence or breadcrumbs. Could Swift's KYC platform be based on Ripple tech? And it's very interesting. Ripple joins the Hyperledger blockchain consortium. So as we see, uh, this is establishing that Ripple has joined Hyperledger blockchain consortium. And um, there's a lot of articles on that that you can read up on. But then from Swift's website, we're talking about Swift publishes today the final results from its DLT proof of concept for Nostra re Reconciliation. And the letters DLT keep popping up here and Hyperledger. And guys, as you know, distributed ledger technology, that is Ripple and the Hyperledger protocol as well. Uh, these words keep cropping up. And guys, we know that Ripple and Swift, they've already talked, they've already had discussions. They're in the same space. And so, you know, when we're dropping kind of breadcrumbs, you know, as Sparrow mentions, uh, it, it seems quite apparent that Swift and Ripple could be working together. Right, mentioning here, demonstrated the significant progress DLT has made with regards to data confidentiality. And of course, this could be anything. This could be, mean that they uh, have, have created a, a different distributed ledger technology that uh, they're trying to use. But guys, we know Ripple and Swift are in the same space. We know that they discuss things together. We know that they're going to be featured at this year's Cybos conference. So it would be naive to disregard this. Um, as simply just coincidence, I think. I think it's it's likely that they are working together and they are kind of using the same uh, terms, buzzwords, I suppose, or they're not really buzzwords, but talking about the same kinds of technology. But I'm going to continue on and the market is looking like, well, you know, not too great. Double digit declines in a lot of cryptocurrencies. And guys, look at these charts. Everything has just crashed. I... You know, I look at this and my heart just sinks. Well, not really. I mean, I'm not that worried. Uh, it, it does in the short term. I always look at it and I was like, oh, we have to keep waiting for this thing. But, you know, uh, at the same time, uh, there's got to be reasons for this. I, I know I mentioned briefly this um, article here. I talked about it yet yesterday. It was uh, regarding The Economist prediction 30 years ago. Did The Economist predict Bitcoin 30 years ago? Um... And guys, I always link these articles in the description, so if you want to read them all, you can definitely do so. Just go to the description and click the link. So the internet was spun into a frenzy by the discovery of the front page headline of the January 1988 article, which said, get ready for one world currency. The accompanying image showing a phoenix wearing a gold coin emblazoned with 2018 and the word 10 and the number 10. It had many thinking that the 10th of October 2018 was a significant date for Bitcoin. But as we know, it appears it wasn't. Nevertheless, uh, so this was about the one world currency. There, there's a lot of videos about this on the internet. The Modern Investor just did one yesterday as well, celebrating the day of October 10th, 2018, which was yesterday. But guys, we're seeing a significant crash. This is XRP on an hourly, okay? But guys, if you go to, you know, and, and as we know, the whole crypto market is crashing, okay? This is this is Bitcoin, okay? I'm gonna just actually put this on a daily here so we can see uh, there's, there's another bit of a crash here. But guys, not only is the cryptocurrency market crashing, but right now we're also seeing, now this is the S&P 500 on a daily chart. And we saw a huge loss here, okay? As you can see by this long red candlestick here, the S&P lost a significant percentage. I, I believe it was like three or 4% yesterday uh same with the dow industrial average okay the dow dow jones down quite a bit as well right stock market okay and let's look at the nasdaq this is the tech sector look at that red candlestick okay so everything it seems to be crashing a little crashing or correcting i don't know i i don't want to i don't want to make it sound like the the stock market is going to crash to epic proportions however this is the beginning of what looks like it could be something like that and guys we all know that the powers that be have a heavy influence in what happens in the stock market and there is this idea that we could be you know from this economist article we could be in for a one global currency, but in order to get that one global currency, in order to achieve that, we need some kind of a reset. We need to kind of reset to zero. And so I know this is a bit of a tinfoily hat kind of theory, 
Um, and so, you know, I, I don't really like conspiracy theories are interesting, but I don't want to say that I prescribe to them necessarily. But I do want to put it out there because it is interesting and, and you should be able to connect the dots here. Uh, so The Economist mentions this in this article from 30 years ago. Now, who owns The Economist? It's the Rothschild family, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, and the Rothschilds are a big, big banking family dating back for, for generations. They own a lot of the banks around the world. They are super rich, have a lot of money. And, you know, the Rothschilds are the kinds of people who um, have influence. Okay, Rothschilds, George Soros, the Rockefellers, uh, this article kind of mentions a little bit of um, them and, and getting into cryptocurrency. This article was back from uh, September 14th, 2018, but I believe that there is an article going even further back uh, regarding that as well. Rothschild having crypto patents uh, dating back a while back. Now, I know the Digital Asset Investor did a video on this. Uh, I'm going to link his video in the description as well. Of course, guys, I give credit wherever credit is due. Talking about the Rothschild's crypto exchange uh, and that they do have a patent on that. So I'm going to link all this stuff in the article. But guys, when you're seeing the market crash like this, you know the powers that be have influence in the market. Could it be that the powers that be are going to reset the economy? We know it's happened in the past. We know that when the rich make so much money and the market can't essentially go any higher, there tends to be crashes. Now, I know that last time the crash was blamed on the mortgage crisis in the United States, and that's why we saw a crash. However, you know, there is a theory that these crashes are coordinated in that, you know, the market gets so high that they just kind of reset it. Everybody sells whatever they own. The market goes haywire. All the mom and pops, the retailers, they're the last ones to, out of the party. They're the last ones selling, so they're the ones losing the most money. The market crashes over several days, weeks, months, whatever it may be. And then the rich buy up right at the bottom again. And the reason I say this is because we're seeing this now. We're seeing a bit, and I'm not saying the market's going to crash. I'm just saying, you know, these long red candlesticks are an indication that something's going on right now, whether in the short term or in the long, or for the long term, we don't really know. But again, guys, the S&P 500, right? The Dow, okay, everything. Everything's doing this. And even in crypto, guys, you know, if we're looking at Bitcoin, uh, and as we know, Bitcoin is the indicator of other coins. And so this... Um, we are already in a depressed crypto market, so this crash doesn't look as much. But what could this mean? Could this mean the one world currency is around the corner? And if so, what is the currency? And guys, as you know, Rothschilds own banks. We also know that Ripple works very, very closely with banks. You don't think that the Rothschilds know about XRP and Ripple? I stand to believe that if a, a family that owns all these banks, you know, very important family in the history of the world, a family with big connections, um, is behind that you know a family that owns the economist that could be behind this and again a bit of a tin foily hat kind of idea here but i want to again put just put it out there to get you guys thinking about this if the rothschilds were behind and had any influence behind one world currency don't you think it would be xrp think about it so guys that's as tin foily as it's gonna get on this channel ever i don't really like buying into these conspiracy theories and 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 not that i am buying into it but other people have connected these dots and so i just wanted again just to put it out there again sorry about the tin foily hatness that will be as tin foily as it ever gets on this channel i like making money and i hope you guys are making money too but ultimately guys this just brings me back to xrp and how important the position is I'm hoping you're hodling your position through this correction. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.